Oh my, I'm having setbacks after setbacks here. I'm going backwards. Deep of death. Uh, so that's usually, uh, as I read uh, for the award BIOS, it's a processor not working, which I have a, a hard time believing that's it. So I'm going to check power supplies first. Okay, not power. Could find nothing wrong with the motherboard, but at least I found what it is. And it's a CY6BM and it's a industrial uh, grade uh, motherboard. Uh, it has actually a PC104 connector and it's sold in Dolce's and Advantex, I, I saw, but it has no brand on it, but I found a manual. Which tells me I didn't know it has USB, actually, it has USB 1, it's not used, there's, there's a ton of stuff that's not used, uh, flash on board that's not used. Uh, so, I couldn't find anything wrong with the voltage, so I'm going to put it back and try a new uh, processor that I borrowed from another Dolch. Uh, but it's a different uh, frequency, so I have to change the thing here to get it back to... 233, so these are the frequency stuff. Here's the new, the new old Pentium 2, 233 megahertz. Should just slide in. Here we go, and put that back in and see if it still has the beep of death. At least it should go to a beep, a healthy beep. No. So it's not the processor, it's the motherboard. Dang. So I'm starting to suspect some of the power is not coming on, but it's hard to figure out because they don't they, they, there is some power sequencing involved. So I'm going to remove the MOSFETs and see if that's the problem. Okay, number one. Two and three and four. How do I get that one back there? So results are somewhat inconclusive. The first one was actually not a MOSFET but a diode and it's a good diode. Polarized reversed. So up goes the diode. Here is a good MOSFET. So I have shorted the the um, drain and the gate so I can see RDS on so basically nothing happens until 2 volts and then it's a short turns on that one's a good one 
I'll show you a bad one, but it was good. It's just I killed it uh, with the wrong settings on the curve tracer. So it was good before. But now it's kind of very soft turn on. So bye bye this guy. And there was one that was sort of borderline. It has a really high turn on, it's almost 4 volts. So that might be the smoking gun. So I'm going to replace this one and the one I killed and see if that gets better. Yeah, the, an exact replacement for the one uh, that seems suspicious and you can tell it's much better as a 2 volt turn on instead of 4 so maybe we are good okay let's try to replace the MOSFET this is some solder paste Okay, last one, which is the diode, which was okay. So we just put it back where it belongs. go all right now we'll see if that did it I have my doubts there you go and okay beep of death or not beep of death or not we don't know and I don't have my hopes too high one two three contact Yeah, still deep up there. Uh, rats. Okay. And let's see. My problem seems to be that I'm not getting any clock out of the clock chip. Not even a reference clock. I should test it over here. I'll see if it comes through, but I don't think it does. So, no clock out of the clock chip. Oh, there we go. We do have something. Oh, now we have clock. And that is... 14.39 megahertz. That's what I should get. discovered there is a tiny chip in there that checks all the voltages and all the temperature it's this little guy right here I don't have a probe to get close to this pins but uh, I went in there with my exacto knife I scraped all these off so I can probe on here easily without trying to probe here and shorting in them by accident in particular I wanted to check the core voltage but unfortunately they all come good core voltage should be 2 volts 1.98 core voltage is uh, everything core is minus 2 where it should be 
plus 5 minus 5 plus 10 12 minus 12 they're all good and then the thermistors they are all within range uh, so all right so my voltages are right the processor i know works before because i booted it in uh, my other dolch um, it detects memory correctly because it makes a different beep if i take the memory out uh, well, it makes one more beep if I take the memory out. So, gee, we... Uh, I don't know what the BIOS finding that doesn't like. The more I'm at it, I check the, dat the data, the address lines to see if there's something working. That's A0 and... It's sure doing something for a while. Until it double beeps. So there is processor activity. So BIOS is running, processor is running, then it sees something it doesn't like. Uh, that's... I really can't tell what is wrong with this board. Now this is even more puzzling. I popped what I believe is the uh, BIOS ROM. I think there is a BIOS ROM and a CMOS EEPROM. Those are two different things. So it shouldn't run any BIOS boot up code. And it does the beep of death. So that's not something that even involves BIOS just to check that I wasn't dreaming. I put my probe on the address and it's not running any code. So it's what a watchdog? So it's something that's so fundamental it's not even part of the BIOS check. I guess if I had the schematics that would be easier. I could find out what drives this darn buzzer which has nothing to do with the rest of the computer. It's from something from here to there. But unfortunately I don't have the freaking schematics. Ay ay ay. I think I'm getting near to the problem. Um, so I'm flying blind basically. I don't have schematics. This board is multi-layered so you can't figure out what's connected to what. But I'm trying to figure what would generate the signal for the buzzer um, because so far we know it's pre-BIOS. So I thought it would be, it has to be generated by some of the logic around here. There's plenty. And finally, using my multimeter, I finally was connected to one of the pins of that uh, monitoring chip I was looking at before. And uh, looking back at the data sheet from the monitoring, the monitoring chip, uh, apparently it does some pre-boot diagnostic on only two things, which is vCore A and 3.3 volts and I saw 3.3 volt good so I just hooked up vCore A and so we'll see if uh, we kind of get something from those two signals here that makes some sense on the bottom I should have the vCore A and the top, that should be the beeping air coming out. Contact. Okay. So. Ah, finally we get something. So the beep comes indeed from that circuit and it only came to 1.5 volts. Uh, so I guess if I look on the other dolch and that signal is at 2 volts then I know what's wrong and uh, if it's a power supply problem I already, changes, I already 
changed the MOSFETs. Hmm, what else could be wrong? Well, man, I finally solved it. Um, I looked at the voltages on the other Dolch and the V-Core was 1.5 volts. So all the stuff that should make that chip beep were fine. So finally, I just pulled out the BIOS chip and I put the BIOS chip from the other Dolch in. And guess what? Now with a little bit of chance. Turn this one on. No beep of death. Beep of life and it boots. So crap! It's my darn BIOS chip that has a bad rotten bit in it. I was thrown off by the fact that for a while I thought uh, it would even double beep with the, um, when, when the BIOS was removed. But it's this one chip that has a bad rotten bit. Which is good because I, I, I like to find uh, I don't like to you know, swap whole motherboards without finding what's wrong with them. Uh, but which is bad because I might not find this darn chip without uh, another Dolch motherboard anyhow. So on further thought it's not that bad. Uh, I took the label off and underneath this weird chip is just a wind bond uh, 256k by 8 I believe uh, flash ROM. So all I have to do is find a new old chip uh, and with a little chance it's not protected so I can suck off the old BIOS uh, from the other chip and put it back in a new, new good uh, flash chip and probably figure out which bit is wrong with that one too if I read it out and compared. So uh, I don't have anything to program it though it's too, too new for my data IO so in the meantime We'll wait for uh, the cheapo programmer and the cheapo chip to come from uh, Taiwan or China and uh, resume and hopefully finally resurrect uh, my Dolch for good. See you then.